video update number one on the patio garden. It is May 30th, just a couple weeks after our frost date. Um, we got everything going on the patio here, or, or most everything. And I've got, uh, oh, over here real quick. This is a five gallon bucket. We're going to do the double five gallon self-watering bucket. That's for some tomatoes, I'll show you about later. But over here, let's start up here. This is a Grappoli heirloom tomato. First year we're growing these, we'll see how they do. Seems to be okay in the top survey. Did Amish paste in those last year, they did great. The uh, five gallon buckets you see here with the red cage, that's Aroma. Just picked that one up at Earl May. And it's a five gallon double bucket watering system as well, self watering. I'll show you a diagram on that one later. And it, uh, it's been doing pretty good. Um, the watering on it is pretty simple, even though tomatoes are such a thirsty plant. I uh, just fill the water up here in this little PVC pipe. It's drilled all the way down through this blue bucket and uh, I can tap in to just fill up the water in the bottom bucket and then uh, this bucket's got a little small pot that helps wick up the water through that one. Again, I'll show you in a diagram. It's a lot easier to see a picture on it. But uh, so, yeah. This is Aroma from Earl May. He's doing really good. Um, starting to see some spots on him. I'll have to come check him out again later. Looks like this other plant got to him. Also have rabbits out the wazoo around here and they love all my plants, even my tomatoes. So on inward now, we're gonna look at the baker's rack here. Sorry for those very ugly flowers at the bottom there. <laughs> again, the rabbits are all up in them, but uh, so yeah, those are just for the truck bed garden. I'll do a video update on those too. But the bottom rack on the baker's rack here is cucumbers. They'll be vining up the sides. A little bit of petunia in the middle there just to bring some pollinators in. Uh, this middle rack, I got a broccoli. And then I had two more pots there with strawberries, but uh, storm came in, blew them off, and the rabbits got to them. So top rack here, we've got lots going on. Let me bring the phone up here a bit. There's some lettuce, some kale, two different types of kale, parsley, a couple different types of parsley, and some strawberries. So, cute little strawberries coming up. Adorable. Anyhow, so, two different types of kale, cold kale and dwarf curled kale, dwarf curled blue kale, which is my favorite type at the farmer's market. So, trying that this year. And then, two different types of parsley, so this should be this should be fun. We'll see how those do. Again, it's always an experiment with how small a pot can I actually get them to grow in versus how big of a pot do I need to give them. So this year I'm starting that whole top rack. I've done them all before, never done them this small of a bucket, so we'll see how they do. But I've got duplicates in the truck bed garden, so we're good. All right, last rack here. This is my planting station. Sorry, it's a mess down here. I try to clean it up, but. So planter station slash my tomatoes in the back here. These are both heirloom, indeterminate. I don't remember their names. I'll look them up. But um, yeah, put up this netting system this year. So hopefully they do well. This is just some nylon netting. And uh, yeah, in this tiny little box here, we're going to have some basil because it's a great companion plant to my tomatoes. I have four toothpicks here, but please nobody freak out. There's only going to be one basil in here. I'm just having some trouble with my seeds sprouting this year because my basil is super old. It's time to buy new seeds, but I haven't done it yet. So I planted my old seeds this year and they're oh pushing 10 years old now. So <laughs> it's time to get new seeds. Um, but I'm only getting about a 25% germination rate on them. So, um, yeah, I planted four and hopes for one, possibly two, shown up. And I'll just pluck whatever um, pops up that I don't need. But only going to be one in there. So nobody freak out and judge me on having lots of basils in there. I'm not. So, um, down here are my couple little tomatoes that were just little volunteers from a garden friend's. Um, backyard so they are going to be going in that second five gallon water watering system uh, I just have to actually get that done this little guy doesn't look too hot but uh, this guy's doing okay uh, she is they are also going in a separate system in the five gallon bucket because she has uh, told me that they've had a little problem with blight last year so I'm just keeping that away from everything else and again darn rabbits these are just a bunch of impatience, and I got a couple of petunias. Um, there's some pretty petunias. Anyhow, got impatience and petunias at Lowe's, 50% off. 
So, yeah, that would be the patio garden. And uh, we'll do another update a little later this summer. We'll see how everything's doing.